today on How It's Made. Carbon fibre masts. Making these is a tall order. Production begins with a strip of carbon fibre, which is wrapped around a long mast form that will serve as a mould. The material is trimmed and the paper backing is peeled away. Between 20 and 100 layers will be wound around the mould, depending on the size of the mast. Some layers are applied in a crisscross manner to give the mast more structural integrity and to hold its shape. The overlap is cut away so that the edges meet perfectly. The material is slightly creased and bulky at this point, so it's wrapped with plastic tape to compress it, which is then removed. This temporary taping is done after each layer, and the tape is left on after the final layer before a breather cloth is taped around it. Then, a plastic vacuum bag is pulled over the entire mast. The ends are sealed with tape. The vacuum connector and hose are attached. The vacuum sucks air from between the carbon layers and compresses them further. Next, it all heads into an autoclave to be baked under pressure. This will squeeze more air from the layers. At the same time, the heat will activate glue impregnated into the material, permanently fusing the layers. This fitting is made in a similar fashion. It's called a gooseneck plate and will connect a boom or spinnaker pole to the mast. Back to the mast. The large aluminium mould is pulled out of the mast tube. The surface is roughened using a disc sander so paint will stick. 